Good morning everyone! Today, ituturo ko po sa inyo kung ano po yung mga tips sa paggawa ng educational video materials. And as well as ituturo ko rin po kung paano po ang paggamit ng free cam 8. Bago po tayo mag-start, alamin po muna natin kung ano yung mga problema kadalasan kapag gumagawa po tayo ng ating video materials. Number one, yung iba-ibang version po ng Microsoft Office. So alam ko naman po na hindi po lahat ng Microsoft Office natin ay updated. So, isa po yan sa nagiging problema natin kung paano po tayo gumawa ng ating video materials. Next, wala po tayong mahanap na quiet place para po sa ating recording. Next, kapag kami ginamit po tayong free version ng application na pwede natin gamitin sa ating video recording, ang problema naman po ay merong watermark. And, Kadalasan pong dahilan o nagiging problema natin ay ang skills kung paano po mag-edit ng video. So ngayon po sa ating tutorial, ituturo ko po sa inyo na hindi po problema kung iba-ibang version po ang ginagamit natin ng Microsoft Office. And as well as, ituturo ko rin po sa inyo kung paano mag-edit ng ating video para po tayo makapag-create ng ating educational video materials. Okay, for our tip number one, we should know our topic as well as our audience. So bago po tayo mag-start sa pag-create po ng ating module, kailangan guided po tayo with the use of MELKS and BAW o yung Most Essential Learning Competencies and Budget of Work. Dito natin malalaman kung ano nga ba yung topic na dapat natin isama o isulat sa ating module. Other than that, when we say knowing our topic, it is pertaining to applying our expertise on our topic. So kailangan alam natin yung pasikot-sikot ng ating topic. Alam natin kung paano siya ituturo. When we say knowing our audience, it is about understanding their learning styles. So, dapat natin i-consider na ang ating mga learners ay merong iba-ibang learning styles including visual, logical, auditory, interpersonal, verbal, intrapersonal, kinesthetic, and naturalistic. As well as, dapat din po natin i-consider yung level of comprehension. Pwede po natin gamitin consideration ay yung age bracket ng ating learners and as well as yung grade level nila. Itong phase na to ay tinatawag nating module writing. Dito tayo nagsusulat ng ating module with the use of Microsoft Word na sumusunod sa guidelines ng ating LR. Next tip, we should create a storyboard. When you say storyboard, this will serve as our guide for the flow of our lesson. We should bear in our mind that our video lesson should be composed of the following parts. Number one, expectations, followed by pretest, recap, lesson, wrap up, and valuing. Ito yung stage na kung saan gagawa tayo ng ating PowerPoint presentation. So dapat, yung pagkakasunod-sunod ng ating PowerPoint presentation should be based on the parts of our video lesson. Next, after creating our storyboard, it's time for us to write our script. Writing a script will save us from rumbling. So, mas maidi-deliver natin ng maayos yung ating lesson in sequential form kapag ka meron po tayong script. And as well as, makakapag-add po tayo ng extra details sa ating topic. So, other than reading what is on our slide, pwede po tayong magdagdag ng extra information sa ating slide. Especially kapag ka meron po tayong i-elaborate sa ating discussion. And kapag ka nag-prepare po tayo ng ating script, this will lead us for fluency. So mas magiging fluent yung pag-deliver natin o yung pag-record natin ng ating video materials. Next, ito po yung mga tips kung paano po tayo magsusulat ng ating script. Number one, we should use common conversational words kung paano po tayo nakikipag-usap sa ating mga estudyante during the normal setup, ganun din po dapat yung mga conversational words na ilalagay natin sa ating script. And, kailangan po natin i-practice ng i-practice yung ating script. Kailangan maging comfortable po tayo sa pag-deliver ng ating script. And after writing our script, it's time for us to start recording. Ano nga ba yung dapat natin i-consider kapag ka nagre-record na tayo? Number one, we should find a quiet place. Number two, we should speak slowly and clearly. And number three, if we make mistakes, we will just simply pause and start again. So, i-explain ko po later on kung bakit hindi na natin kailangang uulitin 
yung ating proseso kapag ka tayo ay nagre-record kung sakaling tayo ay nagkamali. Next, after recording, it's time for us to apply editing. Ituturo ko po later on yung mga skills on how we are going to cut or trim our video, on how we are going to apply noise reduction, on how we are going to adjust the volume of our recording, and as well as to apply the fading in and fading out effects. And finally, it's time for us to export our video. So this time, isi-save na po natin yung ating video. Okay, so let's start. Okay, so para po may download natin yung ating application, pupunta po tayo sa google.com at itype po natin yung name ng ating application which is free cam 8. Then, enter. Yung pinakaunang lalabas po sa ating search engine, ito po yung ating i-open. Then, ibibigay po natin yung ating email address. Then, saka po natin i-click yung download. Okay? After downloading our installer, i-install na po natin siya. Then, kapag nag-appear yung window na to, check lang natin yung checkbox. Then, click install. Then, click launch. So, ito po yung user interface ng ating free cam 8. From the name itself, it is free. Wala po siyang bayad. Wala po siyang watermark. Wala po siyang time limit. And, Ang advantage po nun, meron po siyang mga editing features na talagang magagamit po natin sa pag-create ng ating video materials. So, let's start. Ito po yung aking ginawang PowerPoint presentation o yung slide deck. So, kung mapapansin nyo po, dito po sa baba, meron po akong nakalagay na script. So, akin po, napaka-importante po na nagkikreate po tayo ng ating script para po mas magiging fluent yung ating recording. So, paano po ba tayong maglalagay ng script sa ating PowerPoint? Dito po sa baba ng ating slide, meron pong nakalagay na notes. So, all you have to do is to click the notes, then magkakaroon po ng space in which we can write our script. So, dito po yun. So, baka po sa tagal na po na ginagamit natin yung PowerPoint, hindi pa po natin alam kung paano po maglalagay ng script. So, after po natin makapaglagay ng script at na-practice na yung ating script, Pwede na po tayong mag-start ng recording. Then, saka po natin i-click yung new recording. After clicking new recording, ito po yung next na lalabas. Then, saka po tayo bumalik sa ating PowerPoint presentation. Sa pagre-record po ng ating PowerPoint presentation, kailangan po ay nasa presenter's view tayo. Para nang sa ganun ay guided po tayo ng script na ating nilagay sa ating slides. So, ang gagamitin po nating command keys are Alt plus F5. Then, this time, isa-select na po natin yung area ng ating presentation. Itadrag lang po natin yung sides. Left and right, top and button. Next, alamin natin yung mga function keys na pwede natin gamitin sa pag-control ng ating recording. So, i-click na po natin yung settings. Makikita po natin sa general tab yung mga function keys na pwede natin gamitin para i-control yung ating recording. So, kung gusto po natin i-pause and i-resume yung ating recording, gagamit po tayo ng F2. Para i-stop yung ating recording, gagamit po tayo ng F1. At para i-discard or ulitin yung ating recording, gagamit po tayo ng F10. Dito rin po sa general tab, pwede natin i-adjust yung volume ng ating mic. Kung sakaling mahina ang ating boses, pwede po natin 
i-adjust sa high volume yung mic para nang sa ganun mas lumakas yung capture ng ating boses. Si Freecam 8 pwede rin po siyang mag-record ng system sounds. Halimbawa, gusto natin merong background music yung ating recording. All we have to do is to check yung record sounds. Then, sa advanced tab, wala na po tayong babuguhin. Kapag ka-okay na, click na po natin yung okay. Dito po sa baba, meron pong red button. Pwede rin po natin itong gamitin to start and to pause our recording. After clicking the start button, mag-aantay po tayo ng 3 seconds para po mag-start ng ating recording. So, let's try. Good morning, learner. Welcome to Computer System Servicing NC2. Today, we are already on the third module which focuses on the parts of system unit and their functions. Before we proceed, let's have first our prayer. Let's put ourselves in the presence of our Lord. Kunwari, nagkamali ka, hindi synchronize yung sinasabi mo dun sa presentation. So, kagaya po ng sinabi ko kanina, hindi po natin kailangan ulitin yung recording. All we have to do is to pause and start again. Kasi meron pong editing feature yung ating application. We'll take two. Good morning, learner. Welcome to Computer System Servicing NC2. Today, we are going to discuss Module 3, which focuses on the parts of system unit and their functions. Before we start, let's have first our prayer. Then, kunwari, tapos na po yung ating recording sa lahat po ng slides, ikiklik na po natin yung done. So, ito po yung next na window na lalabas. So, para i-edit yung ating recording, ikiklik po natin yung edit dun sa upper left side ng ating window. Then, pwede na po tayong mag-start ng editing. So, una-una, ituturo ko po sa inyo kung paano mag-adjust ng volume sa ating recording. Kunwari, mahina yung ating boses sa ating recording, all we have to do is to adjust the volume. So, ang gagawin po natin, isi-select natin lahat ng ating recording. So, gagamit po tayo ng command keys, control plus A, or select all. Then, dito po sa taas, meron pong nakalagay na adjust volume. So, i-open lang po natin siya. Then, saka po natin i-adjust yung volume by percentage. Kunwari, i-adjust ko po yung volume by 50%. Then, pwede po natin siyang i-preview. So, kunwari, okay na yung volume, malakas na. Then, kiklik lang po natin yung okay. So, ganun lang po kadali kung paano po mag-adjust ng volume ng ating recording. Next, paano nga ba i-apply yung noise reduction? So, kunwari, habang nagre-record ka, medyo maingay yung surrounding ng iyong pinagre-recordan. Pwede po tayong gumamit ng noise reduction feature ng Freecam 8. So, pagaya na ginawa natin kanina sa adjust volume, isa-select natin lahat ng ating recording. Control, A. Then, dito sa taas, katabi ng adjust volume, merong nakalagay na remove noise. Ito po yung i-click natin. Then, click remove noise. So, automatically, yung mga unnecessary noise na na-record o naisama dun sa ating recording ay tatanggalin ng ating application. So next, paano nga ba tayo mag-trim or magka-cut ng ating video? So ang advantage po ng ating application ay pwede po tayong mag-cut ng ating video any part of our recording. So kunwari, itong part na to yung nagkamali tayo. So ang gagawin lang natin, i-highlight natin yung part ng ating video na nagkamali tayo. Then, saka po natin, i-click Yung delete sa ating keyboard or yung delete dito sa ating window na nasa taas sa upper left side ng ating window. Then automatically matatanggal na po yung part na hindi dapat kasali dun sa ating recording. So kunwari itong last part hindi rin siya kasali. Kagaya po na ginawa natin kanina, 
all you have to do is to highlight yung part, then click delete. So, ganun lang po kadali kung paano po mag-trim or mag-cut ng ating video. Next, paano naman po i-apply yung silence? For example, meron pong part ng ating recording na merong unnecessary noise na dapat nakasilence po siya. So, all we have to do is to highlight the part of our video. Kunwari, itong part na to, dapat nakasilence lang siya. All you have to do is to select or highlight. Then, punta po tayo sa taas, yung katabi po ng delete and ng trim, meron pong nakalagay na silence, yun po yung ating i-click. Then, yung part na yon will be silent. So, next, ano naman po yung fade in or fade out effects? Yung fade in at fade out effects ay ginagamit po natin kapag meron po tayong background music sa ating recording. Kunwari, yung music, hindi maganda yung pasok dun sa start ng ating recording. So, all we have to do is to highlight the first part of our recording, then select fade in para po hindi malakas or para po maganda yung pasok ng ating music. And same as well po dun sa fade out. So, kung yung fade in ay ginagamit sa beginning ng ating recording, yung fade out naman po ay gagamitin natin sa last part ng ating recording. So, kunwari, yung volume ng ating background music ay malakas dun sa dulo o sa end ng ating video. So, ang gagamitin natin ay fade out effects para nang sa ganun, pahina yung music ng ating recording. Okay, kunwari, nasa last part yung music. All we have to do is to highlight yung last part, then click fade out. Okay, so ganun lang po kadali kung paano po mag-edit o mag-trim or mag-cut ng ating video. Paano mag-apply ng silence? Paano magamitin yung noise reduction or yung remove noise? And kung paano po i-adjust yung ating volume ng ating recording? So kapag tapos na tayo ng ating editing, i-close na po natin ang ating window. Then, it's time for us to save our video. Then, saka po natin palitan ng file name. Then, click Save. So, hindi po natin kailangang mag-alala with regards to the file type ng ating video because the WMV is a universal type of video. So, ibig sabihin lahat po ng media player ng ating devices can play WMV file. So, ganun lang po kadali kung paano po tayo mag-record ng ating video material with the use of our application which is FreeCam 8. Sana po may natutunan po kayo today sa ating tutorial at sana po ay makatulong po ito kung paano po tayo gumawa ng ating video materials. Maraming salamat po sa pakikinig at panunood and please watch out for the coming tutorials sa aking YouTube channel. Bye-bye and God bless.